Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. For this is the day that the Lord has made and truly we're grateful for one more time to give God some praise and to be able to come and to gather for our prayer. Welcome to the I Want to See You Wins Corporate Prayer Night uh, Prayer Experience. I am so grateful to God that you have heard the clarion call of prayer and you have decided to gather along with us for this night of prayer. We thank God for the opportunity to pray along with you. And we thank God for you. Uh, just a um, little side note, we do own the rights to the music that you hear on our introduction. Um, many of you don't know, or maybe you do know, um, I know that a lot of you that know uh, Pastor Derek Miles, you know that he has a very awesome son by the name of <laughs> Darius, who's a, a up and coming uh, awesome um, athlete. But uh, he also has a very talented producer son. Um, which is Darian. 
uh, Miles, and he um, produced all of our introduction music. So we do actually own all the rights of all the music that you hear. So we thank God for that. And of course, because he is a music producer, if you need any type of intro to your ministry, uh, stuff of that nature, he can definitely help you out. So we are privileged and we are blessed here at I Want to See You Win Ministries, you know, and so we thank God. So we wanted to, the name of that introduction is Fill My Heart, Fill My Heart. And uh, again, we own the rights to that uh, introduction. And so we wanted to get something a little bit different for our, our prayer experience because we want God to do what? Fill our heart. So I thank God for um, us having, being able to have that type of music to get our minds and our hearts prepared for whatever God wants to do in our lives today. I tell you, this is a time more than ever that we need to bombard heaven. I have so much to constantly pray for. I mean, it, it, today has been a day. I've heard a lot of I've heard a lot of bad news. Okay. I've heard a lot of good news, but I've heard a lot of bad news today. And I'm telling you people of God, it's praying time. I don't care what nobody say. It, you know, a, a lot of us do a whole lot of things, but we, again, I will, I'm going to always encourage you all to pray. I'm going to always encourage you to seek the face of the father. I'm going to always encourage you to get in the presence of the almighty God, because we are living in the last days. I don't care what y'all say. OK, we need to make sure that our election is sure we got to make sure that we stay in the presence of the almighty God more than ever before. There is so much to pray for tonight. I tell you, people have lost loved ones and yeah, uh, people are sick with this COVID-19. Um, got a call on yesterday. One of my family members is, is sick with COVID-19. And then I uh, spoke to another family member and they were sharing with me that someone had, um, one of their childhood friends had committed suicide. And I tell you, if, if you're not praying, I don't know what's wrong with you today because truly I tell you, there's so much to pray for. There is so much to pray for that we can never be slack in our job. We can't be slack in prayer, uh, not for a moment, not for a second, not for a millisecond. We have to stay prayed up like never before because God is dependent on us. He's dependent on some folks that's going to have uh, compassion for other people and to begin to pray them through. Because I found out people of God, mm, mm, mm. sometimes people are going through so much that they don't think to pray. I, I'm convinced of this one thing that, you know, the, I, I believe what the Bible says. I believe, I believe in God's word when it says, if my people who are called by a name, let's read it. This is, we're going to talk about our prayer focus for today. Let's read what uh, God's word is saying as it relates to prayer. I always, when I get discouraged, when I feel like, what's the use? Why do I pray as much as I do? Because sometimes people of God, we pray. And, and I know sometimes some of you all, sometimes you may feel discouraged. Maybe you feel like, well, may, maybe my prayers are not being answered or maybe my praying is in vain. But I want to encourage you tonight to stay on the wall of prayer. Please, ma'am, please, sir, stay on the wall of prayer. Don't get so discouraged. God needs us to continuously to cry out to him. In 2 Chronicles 7, 14, it says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. People of God, we need God to hear us. We need God to really hear us. This is time out for any type of uh, wishy-washy uh, prayers that's not being effective. You know, this is why we, we, we have to get in a place in God where when we say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, that he'll hear us. And sometime with that type of, of, of confession, we have to separate ourselves. We have to be people of different if we want to get God's attention, somebody need to write that down. If you want to get God's attention, you have to be people of different. God is depending on us to be able to intercede for our communities, for our churches, for our government. I don't know if many of you know what's going on in the political arenas, but there are people that's running for this, this sacred office. And I say sacred office because to be commander of chief of the United States of America is a big thing, a big, big thing. And I know 
I know, I know I'm not trying to be political, but I'm telling you, we have made that office to be somewhat of a joke. And because we have made that office to be somewhat of a joke, people think it's a joke, but I'm telling you, we got to pray like never before because, you know, if we get the wrong person, which we have seen what happens when you get the wrong person in the seat, what could happen could be very detrimental as we know now. You see, we have, we have, we are living in a time now people get so, um, they get so inspired to do so many things, but if you're not qualified for the job, you'll make things uh, 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 run amok. So this is why we have to pray. We got to pray for our government. We have to pray for the right officials in Congress. We have to pray for God to move in every area. And I know intercessors who are on deck tonight. I know that sometimes it's hard being an intercessor because you got to pray, you got to sacrifice, and sometimes it don't always feel good. Sometimes, you, you know, you're giving so much of yourself, but we need to be encouraged. And I want to encourage every intercessor. Oh God, I want to encourage you tonight to don't stop praying. Be encouraged. You see, God made it plain in his word that if we who are called by his name, if we humble ourselves, what does it mean to humble yourself? To be humble is to not have, not to say that you're humble, it is a lifestyle. Humility is one that you sacrifice, you're selfless, you give of yourself. And sometimes people of God, when we give of ourselves, sometimes we can give all of ourselves. And so this is why people of God, we have to stay and, 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 and get in that place in God that we abase ourselves and make ourselves low and sacrifice ourselves in prayer. And he said that if we humble ourselves and pray, he didn't say pray one time. We got to continue pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then Notice he said, turn from their wicked ways, meaning that we can't be like everybody else, y'all. We have to turn. We have to be people of different, people he can depend on, people who can, he can rely on. So he wants us to be different. So he turned from the people that who are called by him, by his name. We must be different and turn from our wicked ways. That means that as intercessors, people of God, we cannot, we can cannot have unforgiveness. We cannot have bitterness. We cannot be like this world. We have to be called aside. We have to be different. We have to think different. We have to have a different mindset, intercessors. We cannot be like everybody else. And sometimes, people of God, you have to make a distinction that you're not going to be like everybody else, and you got to turn from your wicked ways. So God is dependent on the intercessors, the people who are called by his name, the people that he has called to be different. So he is dependent on us to, to turn from our wicked ways, okay? And then it says, he made us a declaration, then will I hear from heaven. What's concerning to me about the scripture, people of God, is that if we don't do that, that means God ain't gonna hear us because it says, then I will hear, then I will hear, okay? Then he's going to hear us. So sometimes you can be talking and making a whole lot of noise, but ain't nobody hearing you. And it's the same thing with God if we're not careful because he said, then will I hear. So prior to that, does that mean he doesn't hear us? Hmm. This is why the Bible says that he always have an open ear to the righteous and that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. So the righteous is, 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 is effective. The righteous has has the opportunity to be able to have a, have God ear is open to the righteous cry. When the righteous cry, God's going to hear them. So I say all that to say is that we have the ability to change atmosphere, to change communities by being able to turn from our wicked ways. And then the Bible says he's going to hear us from heaven. And this is, this is the part that we need to give God praise for. That which we need to give God praise is this. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And I don't know about you, but I know for a fact our land needs to be healed. Our land needs to be healed, people of God. 
Our land needs to be healed. Your family needs to be healed. Your community needs to be healed. But check this out. Our churches need to be healed. So therefore, people of God, we got to pray without ceasing. We got to pray effectively. We got to pray no matter what. We got to pray because if we pray, there's power in our prayer. So this is why, people of God, we, we gather here for tonight. We gather not for form or fashion. We don't gather because it's, it's, it's the fashionable thing to do. We gather tonight because we believe it. We believe God is well able to do it for us. We believe and we gather tonight um, because we know what the power of prayer can do. I tell anybody, I thank God for all of the great things that God has blessed me with, gift, gifting wise. But one of the great things that I cherish and I thank him every day of the week for is that when I say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, ah, Yorobo Shanda. I feel his presence. I feel there's an opening. There's a portal in heaven. And I believe that when we call on the name of the Lord, God will hear us. And I believe God will release unto us what we need. And I don't know what you need today, people of God. Those of you that's watching me and those of you that may be looking at the rebroadcast, I don't know what you need today. But one thing for certain and one thing for sure, I can tell you firsthand, God is able. I don't know if your body's racked with pain or you're sick in your body. I don't know if you lost a loved one because they've transitioned and you're bereaved today. But I'm telling you what I know, God is able. I don't know if your money's acting funny and, and you don't know where your next dollar's going to come from. But I'm telling you tonight, oh yeah, glory to God. God is able to do it for you today. I don't know what's going on with you. But God knows all things. Why? Because he's an all wise God. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows how you're feeling tonight. He knows that, that you've been disappointed and you've been hurt and, and you've been messed up and people have lied and disappointed you so many times and, and people have sold you wolf tickets and say they're going to be there for you and, and maybe they haven't delivered on their mess, their promises. But God is able. Oh, glory to God. He's well able to wipe the tears from your eyes. He's well able to lift your burdens from you. He's well able to make your crooked part straight tonight. If you're struggling in your faith tonight, God is able. If you're struggling and don't know him for real, God is able to save you for real. God is able. Oh my God. And I'm telling you people of God, because he's able, this is why we gather tonight. This is why we pray tonight. This is why, because I got some believing folks on the line that know God is able. Glory to God. And I tell you, if we put our faith together tonight, God is going to do some awesome, great things tonight. Do you believe me? Glory to God. I believe that God is well able to do all that he needs to do in your life. I'm praying and interceding for you even now. Glory to God. We're getting ready to, to, to pray, but I'm telling you, God is well able to do it for you tonight. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come tonight, God, not for form or fashion, God. We come because you said that we can. We come because we are the believers of you, God. We are your people. We are the called out ones. We are the ecclesia, God. We are the ones, God. And Father, I thank you for everyone under the sound of my voice, God, that are in their respective places. Some may be in their car. Some may be on the job. Some may be in their home. Some may see the rebroadcast. But Father, Oh, God, we thank you for being omnipresent and omniscient, God. We thank you, oh, God, for being the lift of our head tonight. We thank you, oh, God, for wiping tears from our eyes, God. We thank you, oh, God, for being our burden bearer and our burden sharer, God. We thank you for your love and your compassion toward us, even when we have done wrong. And, oh, God, and we've been upset and we've been bitter and we had unforgiveness. And, God, you've been so kind to us in spite of our ways, God. And, and oh, God, even though we might not have properly represented you, God, you still loved us, God. You, you have that true, authentic, everlasting love, that unconditional love that no matter how we've messed up, God, you've been there for us. And so, God, we come tonight, God, 
We come as a body believer saying, God, we believe you, God. We believe you and we trust you, God. We trust you with every situation. We trust you with every problem. We trust you with every concern. We trust you with our family. We trust you with our loved ones. We trust you with our churches. We trust you with our communities. Oh, God, we trust you, God. God, we trust you in the midst of what we see, God, because we know, God, you said in your word that the just shall live by faith and not by sight. And so, Father, tonight we trust you, God. Uh, we trust you with our purpose. We trust you with our destiny. We trust you, God. Uh, and so, Father, we pray on tonight, God, uh, that you will fill our hearts, God, that you would, uh, oh, God, regulate our minds, God. We pray for peace, God. Uh, we pray for peace, God, that surpasses all understanding, God. Uh, give us peace in our mind. Give us peace in our soul. Uh, give us peace and make us whole tonight, God. Uh, oh, God, for our land needs a healing. Uh, oh, God, we need a breakthrough, God. Uh, we're crying out to you, Father, oh, God. Uh, oh, God, you know the way that we take, God. Uh, you know what's been for us, God, for you know every hair that's nibbled upon our head tonight. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come tonight, God, in our respective places, God, crying out to you, God. No other help we know, God. We know that you're well able, God, to do exceedingly above all that we could have imagined, God. We come before you tonight, God. Oh, God, weary, weary and worn, God. Some are weary and worn and don't know what to do. Some are burdened and trouble on every hand, God. But God, we know that you're well able, God, because you told us in your word, God, to cast our cares upon you, Jesus, and you will be our burden bearer, and you will be our burden sharer. And so, Father, we come tonight, God. Oh, God, we come tonight, God. Oh, God, looking up the hills tonight, God, and know that our help come from you, God. We need you, God. We need you, God. We cry out for those, oh, God, that don't know that they need you, God. I pray for those, oh, God, hallelujah, Jesus, that's searching. They're searching for truth. They're searching for answers. They're searching, oh, God, to get to know what is going on in their life. Oh, God, some people got so many question marks. They don't know, God, which way to go. I don't know which way to take God, uh, but Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we pray on tonight, God. Uh, oh, God. Uh that you will get in the crevices of their soul, God. Get in the crevices of their mind, God. We pray, God, that you will get a hook in them, God. We pray, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, put a hook on the backslider tonight. Oh, God, put a hook in those, oh, God. Oh, God, that's perplexed, oh, God, by the spirit of depression and oppression, God. We bind up that spirit now, God, in the name of Jesus. We war over the souls, God. Oh, God, in the order of Hashem, in the order of Oh, God, we war tonight. We war as soldiers, God. Oh, God, soldiers, God, on the front line praying unto you, oh, God. No other help with no, God. Oh, God, souls, God, are crying out in the wilderness, God. They're confused, oh, God. But, Father, in the name of Jesus, you said you're married to the backslider, God. And we pray tonight, God. God, that you put a hook in them, God. Put a hook in them, God. Oh, God, that they would not be sifted as weak, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, put a hook in them, God. Oh, God, that they would not die. Oh, God, without knowing you, God, in the name of Jesus. Ah, oh, God, I cry out tonight, God, for those, oh, God, that's battling sicknesses, God, in their body, in their mind, in their soul, in their spirit, God. We pray for the infirm tonight, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. We cry out, God. Oh, God, for those that's battling, God. COVID-19, God. Oh, God, pretty did have a hundred yen. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, God, I cry out tonight, God. For those, oh, God. Oh, God, that's battling, God. Battling, don't know what to do. Got the diagnosis and been tested positive, God. For COVID-19. God, we bind up the spirit of fear. I shed it in the Yes, God. Oh, God, we cry out tonight, God, and we pray tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, God, that you will look upon them, God. Give them strength, God. Help them to breathe, God. Resuscitate them, God. Oh, God, reverse it now. In the name of Jesus, we pray for a speedy recovery, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray right now, God, that you would have your way, God. Oh, God, we pray, God, that you will walk up and down the corridors, God. Oh, God, we pray, 
God, oh God, that you would be a physician. He thought he needed more shut out of the higher. Oh God, we know you to be Jehovah Rapha, the God that he will see. And we pray, God, God, you your shut out of the whole shunda. You come up, Baba Shanda. We speak to the spike in Texas and we command it to come down in the name of Jesus. Oh, shut out of the whole be under the Bahia. He called it in the double shunda. Oh God, Kaisa. We pray right now, God. We pray right now, God. Oh, we pray right now, God, that you allow the spike to come down. Oh, Baba Bashanda de Yokobosha. He called a little Boshia Baba Basata. He called a little Boshia de Basia. He shed a little Bosu. Washebe and Oh, God. We pray for the spike tonight. We pray that the spike come down in the name of Jesus. We rebuke it. We command it now. Oh, Shebe and Oro Boshanda. He called Baba Bosha. Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we pray tonight. 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 Oh God, we see trucks. We see trucks, God. Don't let the, the freezer trucks be filled. Oh Baba Boboshia Baba Mahaya. I Kororo Boboshia Baba Basika. O Shetebe Kororo Baba Basia. I Shetebe Kororo Baba Basia. Yes, God. Don't let the trucks be filled. Oh God, I pray, God. God, did you hold back the death angel, God? He did it. Oh God, I pray, God. God, did you hold back the death angel, God? He did it. Oh God, I pray, God. Oh, shit, I don't know. Yes, he shit, I don't know. The honorable Shia, he shit, I don't know. He shit, he shit, he shit, he shit, he shit, he Oh God, we pray tonight. Oh God, let the sprite come down. Oh God, let it come down. Let it come down supernaturally. Let it come down quickly. Let it come down expeditiously. In the name of Jesus, I pray God now. Oh God, right now, God. Oh God, you never shabbat. He called it a machete. Oh, Ribibi Osakama. He shed a vendoroboshe. He come and do a boshianda. Hey, God, it is a shebetoroboko shebetororosia. In the name. Name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray tonight. Uh, let the spike come down. Uh, oh God, you said that whatever we ask, God, uh, you said what we can ask in your name. Uh, you said if we knock, you open up the door. Uh, and so, Father, I pray tonight uh, that the spike come down. Uh, I pray, God, that you hold back the deaf angel uh, in the name of the Boshete. Uh, I rebuke blood clots now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Oh God, let them dissipate in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh Baba Shetea. Oh Rebe Keshebe to Rabaha. Ishetebe Nurobosia. And God, I pray even now. I pray even now. Oh God, environmentally, God. Oh God, that you would get in the air, God. Oh God, I pray now, God. I pray that you will blow, God, every substance that's in the atmosphere, that's agitating. Oh God, the lungs. In the name of Jesus. I pray, oh Rebe Kebe to Rebe Kota. God, that you will expose. Oh, God, expose God. Oh, God, the 4G lines, God. Oh, God, the 4G lines, Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, expose it, God, 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 let it be revealed, let it be exposed. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus. 
Oh God, do it, Father. Do it, Father. Let it be exposed, God. Every agilent, oh, every agitant, oh God, every allergic in the air, God. Oh God, clear it, God. Breathe on it, God. Oh God, that it will dissipate and dismantle it, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that pardon, oh God, I pray now, God, that you will blow, blow. Blow, blow. Oh, God, I ask God that you blow, God. Blow it away, 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 God. Blow it away. Blow it away, God. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. Because we know, God, your eyes are in your shady under in your hoshaya. Your eyes, God. Oh, God, your eyes, God, is on the matter. And God, we put it before you, God. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. Oh, God, that we can cast our cares upon you, God, because you care for us. Oh, Father, we thank you, God. Oh, God, that every diabolical plot of the enemy, God, that you shall expose it, God, in the name of Jesus. Every backdoor deal. Oh, Yes, God, yes, God. We thank you tonight. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We did a shabby and the Robo Shaya. He did a Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, God, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight, God. Oh, God, we thank you tonight. We thank you, God. We thank you that we can cast our cares upon you, God, because you care for us. We thank you tonight, God. Oh, because you're all wise, God. You know all about it. Every burden, every trial, every tribulation, God. We pray for those, oh, God, that's struggling economically. We pray for those, oh, God, without jobs. We pray tonight for those, oh, God. Oh, God. God, it's limited in their finances tonight, God. Oh, God, make ways for them, God. Oh, God, remember the tither, God. Remember those, oh, God, that if they had the heart to give, God, that they would give it all. Oh, God, remember them, God, for their labor of sacrifice, God. God, do it for them, God. Break the yoke of bondage, God. Break the yoke of poverty, God. Break it in the name of Break it in the name of Oh, God, break it, God. Break it, God. Break it, God. Break the yoke, God. Break the demonic influence, God, off their life, God. Oh, God, break it, God. Break it, God. Break the yoke, God. Break the yoke, God. Break the yoke, God. Break it, God. Break the influence of the enemy off their lives. Oh, God, break it. Oh, God, break it. Break it tonight. Break the yokes. Oh God, dear man, oh Your people are yoked up. They yoked up in bondage. They yoked up in gossip. They yoked up in mess, God. But I pray, God, oh God, that you would be here. Oh God, send forth the breakers anointing, God, to break every yoke of your people, God, that they may be free, free to worship you, free to love you, God, free of liberality, free to pray, free to love, freedom, God. I pray for the freedom of your people, oh God. Free us. Oh God, free us, oh God, that our hearts will be open to you, God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they will no longer be beguiled by the enemy, God. I pray tonight, God, that you remove the scales from their eyes, God, that they will no longer be victimized by the enemy any longer, God. But I pray tonight, God, oh God, I pray for the spirit, oh God, that they will be able to discern, oh God, the ways and the wiles of the enemy, God, that they will be precision and sharp, oh God, that they will be able to be able to discern the enemy, God. 
God, in the name of Jesus, that the enemy will no longer be able to run game on them, God. And so, Father, we destroy him and we pray against the spirit of manipulation, control, deception. In the name of Jesus, we come against it. In the name of Jesus, we come against that spirit of Leviathan. We come against that spirit of the Jezebel spirit. We come against Hey, God, everything that's contrary to your will and your way, God, that spirit of pride, that narcissistic spirit, we come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The blood of Jesus prevail against you. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, that the yoke of bondage, oh God, is broken off the people. <coughs> broken off the people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray even now, God. We pray even now, God. Oh, God, that you release your people, oh God, into another dimension of prayer, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that you will send a prayer mantle, God. Oh, God, upon your people, oh God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, let the weight, the weight of prayer, the weight of intercession fall on your people. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I activated I activated in the rebel shame I activate them, God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, to pray without season. I activate them in the rebel share and everyone under the sound of my voice that they will be activated in prayer. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in the name of we pray right now, God, that you will activate us ever the more in prayer. Oh, God, pray without ceasing, God. We thank you tonight, God, for those that will receive the mantle of prayer. Oh, God, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight, oh, God. Because only you can do it, God. And we yield ourselves to you, oh God, to have your way in our life, God. To have your way, oh God. To have your way in our family, God. To have your way in our communities, God. To have your way in our churches, God. To have your way in our government, God. We need you, God. Oh, yes, we do. We need you, oh God. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, we pray tonight. Oh, Baba Bashi, and the Bohoshi, and the Roboshia. You cannot have a Bashi, and the Roboshia. Oh God, we pray tonight, God. Oh God, that you will manifest your glory in our life, God. That we will no longer be constipated and stagnated in the spirit realm. But I pray, God, for activation, God, for those that's under my voice, God. I pray even now, God, that you will stir them, God, in the city of their soul. Oh God, you did have a Surya Mama Sheha. And prayer will be activated in their bellies. In the name of Jesus, I pray, God, that you release fire upon your people, God. Oh, God, to receive your anointed of prayer. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, help us, oh, God, that heaven will respond to us, oh, God. We pray that the portals of heaven will open on us. We pray tonight, oh, God, as we come together tonight, oh, God, that you will move in our lives, God, that you will move in our families family's lives, that you're moving our children's lives, that you're moving our husband and wife's lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray on tonight, God, that you will make yourself known, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray on tonight, oh God, that you will do what no other power can do. Oh God, heal, deliver, and set free, God. Oh God, we pray, God, those that's captivated in their mind, God. Oh God, that mind-binding demonic force, God. Oh God, we pray, God, that 
you will break the bondage of depression, huh? break the bondage of oppression, huh? break the bondage, oh God, huh? oh God, a mental illness huh? that's running loose huh? in the world, God. Huh? We pray, God, huh? that every demonic influence of huh? mental illness, God, huh? oh God, huh? oh God, I pray tonight, God, huh? oh God, that spirit, huh? oh God, a confusion, huh? oh God, huh? I pray right now, Jesus, huh? oh God, that you will move, God, huh? oh God, for those that's battling in their mind, huh? in the name of Jesus, but I pray tonight huh? that you get in the crevices of their mind, God, huh? get in the cerebellum, God, huh? oh God, huh? oh, we pray now, God, huh? God, that you will bring about huh? a balance in the name of holy beyond the little shia, he called it beyond the idea, shake a little bit. I pray, oh, no, 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 Oh God, tonight for those that's struggling, oh God, and battling, oh God, with high blood pressure, we come against high blood pressure in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we pray now, God, that you would, oh God, teach us the way on how to eat, God, teach us on how to take better care of ourselves, God. I pray, God, that you put a spirit of wellness in our mind, in our spirit, God. Oh, God, that you will teach us the ways. Oh, God, that we will have long life, what to eat, what to do, that we will be able to be healthier, God. Oh, God, we pray, God, that you will take the desire of everything that will try to destroy our life. Oh, God, we pray, God, that you will give us the wisdom and the insight and the foresight, God, of everything that will try to tear us down. But, Father, we pray, God, that you will give us the wisdom. I pray, God, that you release wisdom upon your people tonight. Give us wisdom in our health. Get us wisdom in our wealth, God. For you said that you would give us the power to get wealth tonight. And I pray, God, for every entrepreneur, God, under the sound of my voice, God. I pray now, God, every struggling business, I speak to your business in the name of Jesus. And I command your business to grow. I command your business to increase. I command your business to expand in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God. And I pray, God, that you would deal with the mind of every entrepreneur, God. Give them the strategy, God. Give them the plan for success, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, because we know, Lord, that the blessings of the Lord make us rich and add of no sorrow. And so, Father, we thank you tonight, God, that you're releasing, God. You're releasing, God. You're releasing strategy. You're releasing wisdom, God. You're releasing increase. You're releasing expansion, God. We thank you tonight, God. Oh, God, that you're doing it by your hand, God. We are a Hosheke, Rabake, Alabahaya, Isheta, and the other of Hosheya. Yes, God, we thank you tonight, God. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you for strategy. We thank you for plans. Oh, God, there's somebody even now under the sound of my voice. God, you're giving them an idea. You've given them an idea, God. And they're concerned whether you're able to bring it to pass. Oh, but Father, I thank you, God, that you're letting me know. Oh, God, to tell them tonight that it is so. That you have called them to be an entrepreneur, not to work for another person. Ah, but you have called them to be independent. You have called them to be self-sufficient. You have called them to be an entrepreneur. That is their strategy for success. I hear the father saying on tonight that he's dropping strategy in your dreams. He's dropping strategy in your visions. He's dropping strategies and he's going to give you the plan. He's going to give you the know-how. He's going to let you know how to do it and how to do it. And the father said he's going to connect the dots. He's going to put you at the right place at the right time that you will receive the right connection uh, that's going to bring you to your wealthy place. Uh, oh, God, we thank you tonight. Uh, oh, God, uh, that you're all wise, God. Uh, you're all knowing, God. Uh, you know how to do it right, God. Uh, and we thank you tonight uh, for every strategy. Uh, we thank you for every expanded business. Uh, we thank you for every entrepreneur, God. Uh, we thank you, God, that you're turning them into entrepreneurs. Uh, oh, God, for them to be financial missionaries. Uh, oh, God, we thank you, Robo Sheke. Oh, God, we thank you tonight, God. Oh, God, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight, God, that you're well able, God. Oh, God, you're well able to do it tonight. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you tonight, God. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. We thank you, oh, God, that you are comforter, God. We thank you that you're a way maker. Oh, God, we thank you, God, that you love us unconditionally. In spite of ourselves, God, you love us. And, God, we love you back. We thank you tonight, God, for the few, oh, God, 
that refuse to defile their garment. For the few, oh God, that's still calling on the name of the Lord. I'm praying tonight, God, for the fivefold ministry. I'm praying for every apostle, prophet, oh God, pastor, teacher, and evangelist. I'm praying for every bishop tonight. I'm praying for everyone apart, oh God, of the fivefold ministry. My God, in the morning, oh God, I pray, oh God, that you keep us covered, God, that you keep us in your face and in your presence, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you take not your Holy Spirit away from us, but Father, I pray, God, and I intercede, God, for the fivefold ministry, God. Oh God, that you will create in us a clean heart. I shed it out of my heart, y'all. Oh God, and renew God. I pray for renewal. I pray, oh God, that you will, oh God, heal us, God, deliver us, God, set us free, God, from the breaks, oh God, and the influences of the enemy, God. Oh God, deliver our soul from evil. Oh God, help us to do good. Help us to do right, God. Help us to be right. Help us to be different, God. We need your help, God. Oh God, we need your help, God. We need your help tonight, God. I pray, God, for every fivefold ministry leader, God. Oh, God, every pastor, every leader, God. Oh, God, please deliver them, God. Deliver them from themselves, God. Deliver them from this narcissistic behavior, God. Deliver them from the spirit of lying. Oh, God, deliver them from the spirit of Jezebel. Oh, God, deliver them from the spirit of Leviathan. Deliver them, oh, God, from whoremonging. Deliver them, oh, God, from gossiping and backbiting and hating one another. God, deliver the fivefold ministry, God. Deliver us, oh, God. Deliver us oh God, deliver us oh God, deliver us oh God, deliver us oh God, take us out of ourselves, take us back to what we first believe, take us back to the altar God, take us back oh God, take us back, oh God take us back, take us back Jesus, take us back, take us back, take us back, take us back, but some say they don't know the bullshit out of the the Deliver, deliver us, deliver us, Jesus. I pray, oh God, I intercede, God, God, that you would deliver the fivefold, God, before it's too late, God. Deliver us, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us from our ways, God. As we've taken our eyes off of you, God, and we put our eyes on self. Lord, the spirit of mammoth is running loose all around the kingdom. We're so enthralled with the things of this world that is sickening. And has polluted our judgment, have abused our power. But we rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray, God, for every fivefold ministry leader, if they don't get delivered soon. Hmm. God, help us. Help us, help us, help us. Help us, help us. God, help us. I pray, I pray, I pray tonight. I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray tonight. I hell earlier will share. I pray tonight. I pray tonight for every fivefold ministry leader. That you, those of you that may see this rebroadcast, I pray. That we all find ourselves in a place of brokenness, a place of humility, a place of hospitality, a place of loving God and being grateful for his presence and not share the glory. For I hear the spirit of the Lord saying that we have not begun to see the judgment that's going to hit the house of the Lord. So I'm pleading and I'm praying for those who are a part of the fivefold ministry. Those of you that are part of the fivefold ministry, you better thank God. You better thank God for the privilege to be able to serve. And you that are in walking in these offices, it's evaluation time. It's evaluation time. It's evaluation time. And God is evaluating us. And I'm telling you, people of God, we have to pray for our leaders. 
We have to pray for our leaders because judgment is coming. And all I see is a wrecking ball. I see a wrecking ball hitting buildings, buildings crumbling. Judgment. Whenever I see that in the spirit, that means God is getting ready to mess up some stuff. That means he's getting ready to wreck some stuff. So that's why we got to pray for our leaders because God is finna wreck some stuff. And one thing about God, when he wrecks some stuff, he'll resurrect some stuff. But before there can be a resurrection, it first has to be a wrecking. And I'm telling you, people of God, it's reckoning season. And I'm telling you, restoration will come. But before it comes, there has to be a reckoning. And so we have to pray. And so, Father, we thank you on tonight. We thank you for being the lift of our head. We thank you for being our deliverer. We thank you for being our way maker. We thank you that our voice is heard on high. We thank you for the release that we feel in our spirit. And we thank you for these, your people that thought in our robbery, but to come to prayer. And I pray, God, that you would bless them. Bless them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. That, Father, that even though we gather on Mondays, God, that they will pray every day, the rest of the week, that they will be stirred in their most holies of faith to pray. And they will realize the importance of prayer and not take it lightly, but take it seriously. I pray, God, that they will be activated in their prayer life like never before. That they will pray without ceasing. That they will pray with fervency. Pray with passion. Pray with, oh, understanding their position and their role in the kingdom. And I thank you, Father, for this time of us coming together. I thank you for this time of us gathering. I thank you for everyone that's come on the line and got off the line and got on the line and came off the line. I pray, God, that you bless them with the impartation that they need to succeed in this hour prayer, in this time that we're facing, this time going forward. I pray, God, that you would put it in their heart, God, put the burden on them, put the mantle of prayer on the people of God. In the name of Jesus, that they will be propelled and thrust, that they will be thrust into prayer like never before. Father, I thank you, God. I thank you, God. I thank you, God, for the release, for the release of your power, for the release of your anointing, for the release. Oh, God, the release, the release. Who God and I release all oh, by your little share of Bahia. My God, your power and your anointing upon your people to pray like never before. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is good, and all the time, God is good. We thank God for each and every one of you that have joined us on tonight. We bless God. We bless God. We bless God. We bless God. We bless him tonight. We bless God tonight because God answers our prayers. And I thank God that our voice is registered in heaven. That when we say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I take no doubt. I have no fear. My father hears me and I'm excited about it. I'm excited to know God listens to us and he cares. It's good to know God cares for us. It's good to know that we're not serving someone that doesn't love us. We serve a great God, an awesome God. And he has prepared to bless you on tonight. It is my prayer, people of God, that you will be stirred in your most holiness of faith and pray like never before. It is my prayer, people of God, that God touch you in a city of your soul, that you will be made whole, that you will understand the importance of prayer and how essential it is, and know that you are an essential worker for the Lord Jesus Christ, and that is to pray. Oh, yes, it is. Prayer changes things, people of God. I don't care what the world is doing. Prayer still changes things, and God has been good to us, and he's going to continue to do what he said he's going to do, and he's going to continue to be good for those that believe and trust in him. Beloved, this is the time that we got to trust him. This is the time we got to believe him. This is the time we got to stand on his word and watch him work. If you believe him, he'll work it out for you, beloved. I'm so excited for you, you and you that have joined me today for prayer. One thing for certain, one thing for sure. God knows what he's doing. And I'm so excited and I pray that you be excited in your most holy faith and get excited. When you pray about something, get excited for the breakthrough. Get excited for the answer. 
And I'm telling you, God to do it for you. Amen. Listen, we are having a prayer revival. I was supposed to post the flyer today. Forgive me. I'm sure it's on our Facebook page. We are having a prayer revival. Yes, we're going to revive prayer again. We're going to bring it back right here on this platform. The end of this month, we have three prayer warriors, Capers, Brown, and Mims. Look out, Jesus. We're going to have a prayer revival. And these great women of God, they're going to stir you back to the old landmark of prayer. And I'm excited about it. So please get that fly on our Facebook page and please share it, tag it, share, tag, share, tag, and let people know the viral is here. Revival is here. We can ready to revive prayer back again. Amen. Something happens when we pray. God wants to bring that back again. God wants you to trust again. He wants you to believe in your prayers again, that knowing that your praying is not in vain, that God does listen to you. And he's going to surely answer you. Beloved, listen, I love you. I try not to keep you all long. I try to be timely so that you can enjoy the rest of your night because we have fulfilled our assignment. Amen. As always, we like to give you the information if you desire to sow, because I don't like to get involved with people stay, uh, standing in the way of their blessing. If you desire to sow, if you desire to put a seed on it, what it is that you believe in God for, you can. Amen. You can send it the cash app, dollar sign, Apostle Angela Daniels, or you could do PayPal, or you can do online at our webpage at I want to see you win dot org. If you decide to uh, to seed into the ministry, um, seed into this prayer ministry, you are more than welcome. I can assure you that you're blessed. I can assure you that it's good fertile ground. I can assure you that every seed, every dime is used for the upbuilding of the kingdom of God. Amen. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for every seed soul. We thank you for every offering, everyone that desires to give and to seed. We pray a special blessing upon them. God bless them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Father, we pray, God, that you would bless them, keep them. Oh, God, and manifest that which they believe in you to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Listen, I thank God for you. May heaven smile upon you. We are going to be right here at 730. Is it 730? Yes, yeah, 730 on Wednesday for Bible study. Amen. 730 Wednesday, we're walking through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Oh, 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 do we love our Bible study. We really do Bible study and we thank God for it. Again, we thank God for everyone that comes to prayer. I appreciate each and every one of you. I thank God for all that the Lord is doing in your life. I thank God for those of you that saw him right now. We appreciate you. God bless you and keep you is my prayer till we uh, meet again on Wednesday. I love you all. Let's be prayerful and stay woke. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs>